Hey, Darman fam. If you know me, you know that I watch a lot of Darman videos. I've talked about him on my main channel. I've talked about him on my gold channel. And for the past year, I have created a little bingo game on my stream and my live channel based around the fact that Darman videos are so incredibly predictable that all of their tropes fit on a bingo board. Ooh, I don't know if this is gonna come up. Mom always say, what happens in the dark? Oh. Are you serious? And it's been fun. It's been fun for me and it's been fun for my community to make fun of these poorly told stories with questionable morals because we know how extremely successful and lucrative they are. We know that they're relatively low budget and we see the views and we see how often the videos come out and we know how much money the operation is printing. We don't know exactly, but we know that it's a gargantuan amount of money. It's also fun because we make a point not to drag the actors who are working and acting in the Darman videos because they are just doing a job and they are finding a way to make a living doing their craft. And I think that that is a perfectly respectable thing to do that doesn't need to be made fun of. There's tons of stuff outside of that <laughs> to be made fun of in the Darman universe. But what absolutely is wrong is what the actors at Darman Studios are dealing with right now. A number of Darman actors and staff are staging a protest outside of Darman Studios because they don't make a living wage acting in Darman videos. This should be ridiculous to you, uh, especially for like the regular actors. Some of these actors have been working on Darman for four, five years at this point because they are in so many videos, they produce so many videos, and they, those videos have never stopped getting millions of views. Traditionally, actors have unions to protect them from predatory wage practices, but Darman's whole operation is non-union, and so that allows them to cut corners and pay dramatically lower wages. There's a hashtag going around right now, and a lot of people have been sending this to me, called hashtag protest Darman. And if you go to this hashtag on TikTok, you will see a lot of the Darman actors posting videos and sharing video of the scene of their protest and kind of exposing the Darman operation as not being the um, morally good and uh, happy-go-lucky place that it appears in the stories that are changing lives. As a quick aside, I just wanna call out the fact that so many Darman videos for years ended with Darman saying, and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share our videos, you're helping to change lives too. I used to joke that like, no, we're changing your life. We are padding your pockets because, you know, it's a very um, manipulative thing to tell your audience. You're not changing anybody's life by sharing a Darman video where like a, a an evil babysitter gets what was coming to them. And that's fine, but like, let's not get on our moral high horse about it. Especially when <laughs> like, you know, you're not, practicing what you preach. So where I wanna start with this is one of the Darman actors, his name is Colin Borden, and he can regularly be seen in Darman videos playing the affable dad who has no clue what his kids are up to. I think he gives a good overview of this whole situation. Essentially, as an actor at Darman Studios, I am just a contract player. I have no employment there. I am just sort of called every now and then, as are all the other actors. And it just is not sustainable. Um, and there are a lot of issues at hand here, but uh, one of the main issues is that not a single actor that works at Darman Studios can afford rent. Let that sink in. That is a absurd reality. Obviously, like, it's a claim here. I don't know it to be true, but I have every reason to believe the um, number of actors who work at this company corroborating this story than I do, you know, the corporate bigwigs who may be denying it. So that sucks. This is a show that has millions of views across multiple social media platforms. Videos are shot, edited, posted, repackaged as new videos, reposted in other places over and over and over and over and over again, racking in millions of views, ad revenue, all this sort of stuff. The studio has continued to expand for some time, my entire tenure there. When I first started, we shot everything, as I've told you guys on lives and things like that. We shot everything in an apartment building downtown, in an apartment, not even the building. Occasionally, we would go to the garage of that building, but uh, it was really just all in one apartment. And now there are three sound stages in Burbank, but things haven't really 
gotten better for us. So that is one of the big tenets here. Actors like Colin, who have been with Darman for years and years and years, have seen the operation grow and maybe... You know, we're willing to, you know, especially when you start at a smaller company that's an upstart or a startup or something like that, you know, you know what they're working with and, and you you can sometimes be willing to take less pay with the hope that this grows over time and the organization grows over time. And then you are rewarded uh, for your investment of your time in the organization when it was, you know, uh, not able to pay you in the same way. Uh, not able to compensate you in the same way. This is why a lot of companies give stock, you know, uh, like tech companies and stuff. Like we'll, we'll, we'll give stock to their com to their employees so that they are incentivized and, and they're compensated with the growth of the company. But this sounds like, you know, these people have not seen a noticeable raise in their pay as the organization around them has gotten more and more like gigantic. And again, I don't want to go into specifics because it's a kind of a big thing and it's really just between us. Uh, but I think that people should be aware of why we are protesting, why we are out there right now. We've been talking to a lot of actors. Um, it's the same. Everybody feels the same across the board. The trouble is uh, there's a culture at the studio of if you talk, you're out. So we decided to come together as a group and talk collectively with our boss, Darman. That's also pretty concerning, right? You can imagine how terrifying it is that if you speak out against the boss or you try to communicate, you know, something that's not working for you, then you're you're at risk of your job. That does not sound like a healthy working environment just from the jump. So the reason that they've all had to band together is so that they can't like fire all of them. And I would not be surprised if Darman tried to get rid of this problem by just firing all these people. And that would be a terrible way to go. I really hope that he, you know, listens, but the rest of Colin's story does not give me, like does not inspire confidence. We sent a letter to him, uh, a hard copy and an email. The email was CC'd to the head of production as well so that we made sure that Dar got it, but it was addressed to Dar. Um, it was delivered to Dar. That letter was forwarded to the HR department, which we are not employees of Darman Studios. We are contract players. Uh, so exactly what we have to do with HR, we're not entirely sure, but it was forwarded over there. We were contacted, said we could have a meeting um, to discuss our issues. That meeting was pushed several times, changed on us. Uh, when we finally got to the meeting, we had reiterated that we wanted it to be with Dar. Dar was not there. That's fucked. <laughs> it's like, you are the guy. You are the guy. Do you not respect these people enough to show your face and listen to the problems that they have? The people that have worked at your organization for years and years. The people who, you know, the fans are going to notice. You know what I mean? It reminds me of just like a... I don't know, it reminds me of Power Rangers back in the day where it was similarly non-union work and due to like contract disputes and pay disputes, which were really low and the Power Rangers actors were having to do martial arts and crazy stunts where they were putting real risk to their bodies, uh, were not being paid a fair wage and when three of them tried to step up and negotiate, they were just fired and replaced. And then they cut together an episode where, uh, with with existing footage, where they like handed off the powers while these other three rangers went away into the sunset. But in reality, they were fired for asking for um, a little bit more pay for the you know work that they were doing with their bodies. It's not a perfect analog, but it reminds me that corporations will do this. And, and workers have to advocate for themselves a lot of the times if they're not protected by things like unions. And uh, it feels weak. Uh, it feels weak that the meeting was moved multiple times and that Darman won't meet with them. Just meet with your people, dude. I don't care if they're contractors. They, th no one knows that. These, these are the people that, that, they associate with Darman videos. I see this guy, I go, dad and Darman videos. You know what I mean? And I've seen job postings come through. A lot of times people will send me Darman job postings and I will find out about the pay that they're offering at various, you know, um, roles within Darman Studios. And they're always like the bottom of the barrel pay. They're always like the lowest, like, 
pay you could possibly be offering for for this type of role because it, it's an industry where oh you can get like real experience in this like production environment um in this thing that has millions of, of views it's a big name and stuff that is not an excuse for treating people uh like like resources uh we checked back in uh following a couple days reiterating again we would like to speak specifically with dar this is what the meeting is about this is our boss. This is who we want to talk to. I'm thinking of other arguments you can make. Like, oh, you know, it's a big operation. You know, if a few employees at like, I don't know, Google wanted to meet with the CEO, they may not be able to do that. They might not be able to accommodate that because it's tens of thousands of people. I do not think the Darmian company is that big to warrant to warrant this type of thing. Uh, I have worked at companies larger than Darman's company. I, I'm sure of it. And uh, the C the CEO, I don't know what his actual role is in the company, but the face of it should be available for something like this. Especially just like, even if he's not required, like legally or professionally, like personally, like, come on. You know what I mean? Where's the heart? Where <laughs> it's, I think the biggest issue that a lot of people have with this, like as I'm reading the comments, is like, this is antithetical to how Darman presents himself. And it's why it's, you know, one of the reasons it's so upsetting. Um, I've known for years that Darman is like just a businessman. He's a serial entrepreneur. He had businesses before this and he'll have businesses after this. But a lot of kids and a lot of branding from this operation has positioned him as this like morally good guy who just wants to like tell good stories. You know what I mean? And, uh, I think it's important that like, People are like seeing through the shit. I thought Darman was all about being good to others, but that's kind of cruel. Darman took the fattest L. <laughs> and Darman says, what happens in the dark always comes to light. Literally, there's so many people saying what happens in the dark always comes to light. We learned Saturday there will not be a meeting. Meanwhile, a lot of other stuff has happened at the studio. Um, not Some not great stuff. Uh, whether it's connected or not, hey, we don't know because no one's talking to us. Uh, so... That's why we're here right now, because all we wanted to do was sit down and have a conversation with our boss. Uh, that didn't happen. We were told explicitly that there will not be any meetings and that any issues that we have can be written down and forwarded to HR. Um, and that's just not acceptable. And it's worth noting that through all of this, these people just want to go back to work. <laughs> they just like they they're like, please just like let us make a living wage so that we can continue working on these silly videos. The goal is to keep going to work, um, to have a conversation with Dar and to keep working at Darman Studios with the people that I love, I'm doing the work that I love. Uh, we'll see. I cannot believe that it would really eat into the profit margins that much. It just feels, and I haven't seen the books, I don't know, but it just feels like corporate greed, dude. Um, and we've seen it, you know, we've seen all of these layoffs and shit happening across a number of industries right now. It's kind of like the, the moment that we're in, but it never gets easier, um, to, to see like when companies like show their true colors. Mostly the OG actors of Darman Studios are at the studio. Arriving United. Yeah. Hey, Nick, what are you protesting? I'm protesting the man never talks to anyone, he silently fires people, and he doesn't pay anyone what they're worth. Damn. I mean, we're hearing some of the stuff. He doesn't talk to anyone, he doesn't pay people what they're worth. That's these are the claims. And these the and I'm just like, you know, as someone who like would prefer to align myself more with the the workers here than than the than Big Dar, because he's got all the resources and resources in the world to defend himself. I'm, you know, more likely to take these actors at their word. We've got Mayor Mulroney here. She always plays the <laughs> the mean girl. She's always kind of a jerk, but we love her for it. We're over like four and a half years. I mean, that's more than a college education. So to be treated like I'm not even worth being listened to at all, uh, that was, I mean, that was just, there's so many like other You'll notice that they're making a bunch of noise. I think that's to disrupt the work that's happening there. Um, like, I, I guess it's like hard to film in that environment. It's hard to work in that environment. They just want to be heard. It really sucks that it's, it's come to this, but it also sucks that, that the people, you know, yeah, who've, I found this, uh, I feel like a broken record at this point, but you know, to see people who've like really invested so much of their time for so, 
so little. It's like it's not a charity, of course, and they're exchanging, you know, their their labor for for money, but it's okay to ask for more, especially because it's not a living wage and they've been trying to make things work, you know, and hoping that they'll get better and they've reached a boiling point and that's why we're here. Someone's holding up a felon, um, is holding up a felon sign actually. You know, not a lot of people know this and this, this is a little unfair. What does this say? Never judge a felon by his something. And I feel conflicted about saying this, but this is in reference to the fact that Darman uh, was charged with a felony. He did defraud the city of Oakland. This is in 2012. Darman was in Oakland. He had a pot business and he was uh, charged with defrauding a city beautification program in Oakland to the tune of like, I think it's like 40 grand or something like that. Yeah. The city paid man more than $44,000 based on fraudulent paperwork. Now, this has since been expunged. I do have to say that. And I do think that people can grow, you know, from their transgressions in the past. Um, but I was providing that context as to why, you know, this particular person is, is taking, uh, taking that blow right now. <laughs> What's her sign say? Multimillionaire ignores actors, instantly regrets it. Is where the Carl mural used to be. So this is another interesting allegation. Um, there was a beloved Darman actor named, uh, I believe, Carl Judy, who who passed away. And to honor his memory, they made a mural at the Darman Studios of him, posted it on social media, and then apparently took it down a few days later. I don't know about you, but that seems to me that it was just for the clout of it all and that doesn't feel good one could argue that they needed that you know area for production or what have you it is unsettling and if the workers are also unsettled by it um i think that validates my feeling a little bit uh because they know more than me they said they said maybe the landlord told them to take it down so we don't know the context we don't know the context but they they mentioned it i wasn't supposed to cry but it's just that um i felt alone for a long time man this is just it's just so sad. It's just so sad. Um, there was a, uh, there's an atmosphere of fear there. Really? And so, and so if, because we saw, if you do, if you do bring something up, all of a sudden you disappear. If you won't listen to us, if you don't respect us, like we're going to show, show up and we're going to show you that we mean business. And if it hurts your brand, like, I'm sorry, but you don't get to go around acting like you're a moral guru when you treat the people who helped make you like crap. It's not fair. It's and not he's fair. not going to be able to spread, pretend that he spreads good messages when he doesn't treat the people around him. She's spitting. She well said, Mira Mulroney. I mean, that really hits the nail on the head. It's I think that he should get bad press for this. He should have to respond. You know, <laughs> like it sucks that the workers have had to go public in order to motivate Mr. Man to respond. But they have. And I think that we should support them. I personally will not be, you know, engaging with Darman stuff. Darman bingo is on indefinite hiatus until the situation gets sorted out. Um, I hope that it's sorted out in a way that is, you know, equitable and fair to the workers. But if it doesn't, then fuck Darman. <laughs> um, but, you know, like I'm going to keep an open mind and see see what happens. But I, I wanted to highlight this and I wanted to share that these type of things happen um, they happen a lot. They happen a lot in workplaces. And this is just, you know, a place that it's happening very publicly. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, thanks for, thanks for hanging with me and thanks for, for listening. And, you know, um, I'll link, you know, some of the, the TikTok accounts of these people, link some of the social accounts of, um, the actors that are, are protesting right now. And I'm going to keep following this and hopefully we see, Hopefully we see a, a conclusion that makes everyone happy. Okay, bye. Is that uh, the one who makes all the money is, is Dar. Yes. Dar. Dar Man is his name. But all we wanted to do was talk about it. Like we just want to meet with our boss. We wouldn't even ask for what we deserve. We wouldn't even ask for what is fair. We would ask for what is like somewhat humanly decent. Like when this was kind of a rinky dink production, we were okay with that because we're already like, this was like kind of like this like weird niche punk rock thing. We felt like we were family and like, we're okay to watch it grow. Now when something does grow and when you were such a huge part of that brand, like none of us can go anywhere without being recognized or being tied to that brand.